Hey friends, it's Dawn. Welcome back to my eyeshadow series. I'm so glad you're here. The last five weeks, I've been doing different techniques for different eye shapes, and today was going to be the last one. But instead, I decided to come to you with a highly requested tutorial. A few weeks ago, I posted on my social media pages a picture of myself wearing a look with our new, brand new limited edition foil eyeshadow duos and this is copper and pyrite and we have pink and purple and so a few weekends ago i did my makeup with these looks and posted some pictures again on my social media pages so my customers could see what the eyeshadows look like and i had a lot of requests to do a tutorial with those looks so this look is with the copper and pyrite right here and I will do another look with the pink and purple uh, maybe next week and so I just wanted to show you how to apply these eyeshadows and how you can do just a beautiful eye look with them and if you like today's video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share it with a friend so all of the products that I'm gonna use in today's video will be down in the description box below so you can check them out there. And I also have links to all my social media accounts. I'd love for you to come and follow me on social media and say hi. I know this past week I've had a couple of people pop into my Instagram inbox and say hi and let me know they're watching my videos. So hi guys. I'm so glad that you guys are connecting with me. It is so much fun doing these tutorials, sharing these products with you, and making lots of new friends. So come on over and say hi, and are you ready for today's tutorial? Let's get started. I'm going to start using the Mary Kay Eye Primer. So I'm just taking a little bit of the primer and I'm applying it to both eyelids. So all the way from lash line to brow line. So this is gonna help the eyeshadow to adhere to the lid and resist creasing. And next up, I'm going to use the Mary Kay Chroma Fusion Eyeshadow in Biscotti using the Mary Kay All Over Eye Color Brush. I'm just going to apply the biscotti to both eyelids from lash line to brow line. The reason that I like to use this color is because it brightens my lids, but it also evens out the skin on my lids. And you'll notice my lids are a little bit pink. And so it just kind of gives a nice even tone before I apply the other eyeshadows. So after applying this, I'm going to come in with a big fluffy brush and I'm going to use the Mary Kay Chroma Fusion eyeshadow in Hazelnut. And this is a medium brown tone, it's a matte shade. And all I'm doing with the Hazelnut is I'm just applying it to the natural crease. So just using that brush and sort of a windshield wiper motion, just um, going back and forth in that crease. Again, just adding a little bit of definition and depth to the lids. Next up, I am going to come back in with the eye primer. So yes, I'm using the eye primer twice and I'm applying it just to one lid for right now. So I'm just gonna work with one lid at a time and applying that right to the lid itself. I'm not going all the way up to the brow bone this time, but just where I'm going to be applying the foil eyeshadow. So the foil eyeshadow duo in copper and pyrite, the one on the top, that's the one I'm gonna use for this look and I'm going to use my finger to apply the eyeshadow. So I really love using my finger because I feel like it allows me to keep that um, real shimmer uh, and you know glitteriness that this uh, eyeshadow gives me. It's, it's very, very shimmery, very glittery and applying it with my fingers, I feel like it allows me to keep that, um, that shimmer. And I can just place it exactly where I want it. So I am taking this copper shade and I applied it to the inner third of the eye and now I'm applying it to the outer third of the eye. I'm leaving a space in the center of my eye and that is where I'm going to apply the pyrite color. So the pyrite is a green, kind of almost like an army green or an olive green. It is really, really pretty. And again, just like the copper, it's very shimmery. And I am applying this from the lash line 
to just right above the natural crease. So um, if you've watched any of my other videos, uh, you'll know that I have slightly hooded eyes. So I definitely want to bring that color just slightly above the crease so that when I open my eyes, you can still see that shadow. And I'm just, um, again, applying that right in the center. So after I've applied the shadow, I want to take a blending brush. I'm just using this big fluffy brush. And I'm going to blend the two colors where they meet together. So I don't want to take this in you know, that windshield wiper motion and go all the way across the eye and blend this into one color. I do want to keep the colors where they are, but I just want to soften the edges where the colors meet. And um, I noticed after I got done blending that I wanted a little bit more green in the center. So I just picked up a little bit more of the pyrite with my finger and just applied a little bit more green right to the center of the lid. Now I did do my other eye off camera. So I did the exact same technique on both eyes, but I did the second eye off camera. So magic of editing, boom, both eyes are done. And now I'm going to use my eye um, smudger brush and I am going to use these eyeshadows to line my eyes. So instead of using eyeliner, I am using the eyeshadow and I am taking that copper tone and I'm going to apply it again to the outer third and inner third of the eye just like I did on the top lid, I'm doing the exact same placement on the bottom, but again, just using it as an eyeliner. So just that smudger brush is great because you can smudge that shadow right along the lash line. Um, you could also use the eyeliner brush if you wanted a little bit more of a precise line, but I love using the smudger brush for kind of that, um, you know, smoky smudged out look uh, effect. So. Next, I'm taking the pyrite color and I'm gonna apply this to the center of uh, the bottom lid. So again, mimicking where those colors are on the top of my eye, I'm just doing that same placement on the bottom. And once all of the shadows are on, I just give a little bit of a smudge um, to the edges of the shadows where they meet, where the copper and the pyrite meet. And after applying the eyeshadow as liner, I just finished the look off with my Fanorama mascara. All right, friends, well, that is the finished look. I absolutely love these eyeshadow foil duos and they come again in the copper and pyrite and pink and purple and both of them are absolutely gorgeous. They are very, very glittery and shimmery perfect for the upcoming fall holiday season. And don't forget, they are limited edition, so make sure that you check them out. I have a link below. And thanks again for watching. I'm glad I was able to shake it up a little bit today and give you a different look. I will be back next week with another look for my eyeshadow series, so I hope you join me then. And until next time, bye friends. Thanks again for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on the red bell notification. As always, check the description box for links to all the products used in today's video. You can also check out my social media links there. Come say hi. I'd love to chat with you. Until next time, friends. Bye.